So today we are going to continue and we are going to work on the post order traversal of the street. So we've talked about in order. I hope this is very clear to you. We've talked about pre order and now we are going to talk about the post order. The post order simply says root, right, left. Pre order is root, left, right. So I think it should be clear. So it's going to be root and it's going to be right and then left. So if we apply it here, it's going to be B, C, R. Uh, so this is going to be B, uh, B le left, right, B, A, C. And this is going to be B, C, A. Okay, so this is my mistake. Okay, so let's go write the code. We can actually just copy the uh, pre-order code and just modify it. And that's exactly what I'm going to do now. Because actually what we've been doing about trees is quite interesting. I would say it's the easy part. And we are going to be moving on to uh, something a bit more challenging immediately after now. All right, so we are doing post-order print. And we are saying if R is non, return, R is non, return none, else print uh, the right, the, the root, the right, and the left. This is gonna be the left. All right, so this is fine. And this is basically it. I'm not going to go further than this. Than this. I'm going to just go change this and see. But before we do that, let's just try to play around and see what we got from here. So we have G, we go to I, and I goes to J. Actually, it doesn't actually reverse the pre-order. The post-order is not a reversal of this one, as you can see. So G, I, J, you have K, go back here, you have H, and so on. We go back now to C and all the way. So I'd like to give you an exercise to complete it manually before you actually run the code. So let me clear my screen and let's run it to C. So have G, I, J, uh, G, I, H, K, right? G, I, uh, why do we have G, I? Okay, so let me see. Um, okay, so I didn't change, so it's my mistake. So I'm gonna change this to post. So I hope you got this clear. So I'm gonna change this to post. Okay, so let's run again to see what we have. Yeah, so it's correct now, as you can see, G, I, J, K, H, C, and so on. So I'm gonna stop here. Let's see what we have in the next part. In the next part, we are now going to be moving a bit further into something a bit more challenging. We're going to be now doing breakfast search algorithm using cubes, and then we see the code in Python. So please subscribe and also leave me a comment, like and share this video, and let's continue in the next part.